Welcome to Code Economics channel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to plot coefficients from the regression model um, using the curve plot function in Stata. And I'll be doing that for different models across um, different groups. So I'll be plotting all the coefficients in one graph. Rather than normally, if you do it on curve plot, if you use the standard uh, curve plot. Um, Function it's going to plot all those coefficients as different graphs, so as, so as subgraphs within a, a larger graph. But in this case, I'm going to bring all the coefficients together and demarcate them by their groups within the same uh, within the same curve plot graph. So to do that, um, I'm going to take you through the. So you need to write a do file for that. So in my in my mode, in my data already, I already have a panel data, and I have my. I'm using the panel data, of course, to use anything. I have my uh, dependent variables uh, and then my independent variables. So I want to look at the effect of a particular independent variable on uh, three groups of dependent variables. So I'm going to be having three models, and I'll be looking at this effect across two groups whether uh, a place is hot or whether a place is cold so all in all if you calculate the number of models i'll be having i should be having three times two that's six models so let's go through that let's bring up our uh, uh, let's bring our uh, uh, so uh, i'm going to bring the do file and i'll tell you how i do it step by step so yeah i have my i list to just create a local i list my um, Explanatory variable or my independent variable. In this case, my independent variable is NO. That's NO. Whatever that means, it's you know just well, you could put your own independent variable. But basically, these are the two groups I want to. I'll be looking at the impact of this independent variable on these dependent variables across these two groups. So whether a place is yet hot, yes, or a place is cold, no. Uh, let me push this down so that it doesn't distract us okay so good now um i also create a local uh, for all the list of independent variables i want to kind of look i'm going to look at the looping system i want to look so i have for private uh, i want to look at the impact of n on private impact of n o on agricultural sector impact of n o on mining sector i remember i'll be looking at this impact across uh areas that are with hot and areas that are not hot, that is cool. So I simply write this loop, and basically this is very important, you must get it right. So this is going to loop each of these regression analysis for each of these dependent, uh, each of this model across this, uh, for, for each of these uh, locations. And it's going to store them um, as, um, so I'm storing them as regression, I'm saying for each um, level, in that case, whether this is hot or not, uh, and for each uh, dependent independent variable, so store each of these uh, as a different uh, est estimate, uh, store them as different estimates. Okay, so if I run this now, so here we have, uh, it's done now. So if I want to check what the estimate looks like, I use the estimate directory to see what we have. So you could see I have six results, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you click on each of these, for example, this is your result for, let's see, so this is the estimate display for uh, yes and to the impact of N on private sector in hot areas. And you could see what the results are, and you could see this is the variable, the, the, the impact, the, the effect of the variable coefficient, and here we go. Okay, so I've got in my six models now. How do I plot these estimates on the, uh, on the graph using curve plot so that I have all these estimates on a single graph? Uh, no, that's, that's all I want to do. All right. So let's go now to the curve plot, and it's quite a lot of um, code you may need to work with, but um, I hope you could diligently take through and then see. So let's see. So I have my curve plot. Uh, the, 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 I have my curve plot. Then for each of this model, I'm going to present them in a lot of curve plot. Then you put each of this. So this is the first model, which is this, uh, which is this one too. This is the model for yes, private sector. And I, because this is yes, I want to label this as hot. So this model is for hot, you know, that's hot areas. 
Um, then I want to shade this particular coefficient color red. That means all the areas that are hot, their coefficients will come out as red. And uh, this is just to tell you the transparency of the of the bar because I'm using a bar a bar, a bar, a bar chart, so you could use any other thing, but I decided to use a bar chart. All right, so um, the transparency is about 50 percent, uh, and this is my my what my uh, uh, confidence interval. I want it to be color black. And these are just standard procedure of the recast. I want this the, the confidence interval to have a cap. Then, now please note that I have to close this bracket. So I've done this now for one model. So from here to here, everything here is for one model. Now I start the second model, which is the opposite model. So you have to be careful in the way you place this. The opposite model is for this same private model, I want to see what happens in the cold area. That is where you have no. So I start the same process again, but now I use a no. And then I go through, but in this case, I label it as cold. So I'm going to have hot areas and cold areas as one uh, on one uh, or, 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 or for the private sector okay and then this time i want to color code the areas blue the same procedures i want the you know, you could change these colors to play around with them black but i love black in terms of this confidence interval okay now i've done this now for the private areas both for the yes and for the no the hot and cold then you use this sign uh, this sign to kind of now tell stage of in cope or cope plot etc that you want to now start another uh, uh you want to start to kind of you want to give a gap and then start another plotting within the same graph but just to recognize that this is a different set of plotting okay so you go through the whole process again now we pick agricultural sector but remember because you have already uh, the way you order this yes and no should be the way you also order the agricultural sector yes and no because already the label is up and good and you want that to kind of follow themselves and every other thing remains the same do the same thing you do here do the same thing you do here then when you finish for agricultural sector you now have this uh, the marketer again and then you now do for the last sector again the, you know the, 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 uh, the mining sector you do the yes first Close the bracket and then start the no uh, mining, uh, the, the code uh, mining sector, and then you come here. So you could do it for as many, I don't know, maybe for three, three to ten, eight, depending where you go, those are the three kind of uh, one. You could do for as many, depending where you as you want to. And this is very important. I tell CoFlow that I want to keep only the, uh, only the, uh, this independent variable. Of course, you could keep other independent variables if you have more than one independent variable. If I have only one, and I want it to be. Uh, I want a vertical uh, kind of um, a plot, and I want to plot my coefficients. And these are just standard uh, you know, procedures. Uh, cast and this big, the width of the uh, my bar should be 0 0.25, and every other thing remains the same. Now I come to this point x level. Of course, um, so each of these, each of these um, uh, curve plot, we see it as a single x axis. So this. Everything here within the uh, private sector before this is marketed will be presented as a in a single hex axis. And what do you want this particular hex axis to be called? I said I want to be called private. Then the next after the marketer, the next set of uh, models again will be presented on another hex uh, axis. What do you want to be called? Agriculture. Then I do the same thing for mining, and then you could play around with these and. Uh, my Y title is estimate. You could put your X title, but I just don't want anything in the X title. And my title is co plot by category. And then you could save the whatever you get, you know, you export it as this. And then if we run this, let's see what we've got here. Um, and yeah, this is it. So you see, all everything is this are six model, model one, model two, model three, model four, model five, model five, model five. And you can see that private is as one. It's represented in one X axis and it has the two up and the cold area, the up and the cold area, the up and the cold area. You could just make so this is a nice way of presenting um, multiple uh, coefficients from multiple uh, models across different categories. Uh, like, yeah, so, so I hope this has been able to kind of have some value to uh, your ability to represent coefficients using graphs. Uh, please subscribe and share and like uh, this channel if you've not done so to get regular updates on similar um, analysis like this. Thank you. Bye for now.